This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Elliot Rodriguez with the CBS 4 News update. A man wanted for killing two people in Miami Gardens last year was arrested in New York City after police say he accidentally confessed to the killings. Police say 23-year-old Giovanni Stewart walked into a police station in the Bronx and asked for directions to a homeless shelter. That's when police say he told officers he was the person wanted for the murders of Stephen Campbell and Donald Armstrong. Stewart is expected to be returned to South Florida to face murder charges. Federal prosecutors say attorney Michael Avenatti has been charged in a 36-count federal indictment in Southern California. The indictment accuses him of stealing millions of dollars from clients, not paying his taxes and committing bank fraud. Avenatti says he will plead not guilty and looks forward to fighting all of the charges. The new charges follow his arrest in New York last month for allegedly trying to shake down Nike for up to $25 million. The attorney is best known for representing Stormy Daniels in lawsuits against President Trump. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle are just weeks away from welcoming their baby, but don't expect to hear too much about the baby's arrival. The royal couple say they've decided to keep plans about the baby's birth private. Kensington Palace released a statement today saying that Harry and Meghan look forward to sharing the news once they have had a chance to celebrate privately as new parents. The baby is expected to arrive at the end of the month or early May. Now, CBS4 weather. Craig Setzer in CBS4 Weather Control. The weather getting better and my arm getting better too. Look, I can do this. Here's what's going on. Drier air has moved in, giving us a very nice but warm weather for your Thursday. That's going to continue into Friday. That deep moisture that brought us the rain on Tuesday has moved out. Now, by the time we get into the weekend, a little bit of moisture comes back in. So we'll see a chance for some spotty showers both Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Monday could be our first 90 of the year. Temperature wise, it's going to be a warm weekend. Highs in the upper 80s, two low 90s, lows in the low 70s. A chance for a few showers Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Monday night, a weak cold front comes through, will take us from around 90 back into the mid 80s, but still above normal. Elliot? Greg, thank you. That's our news for now. Thank you for joining us. The CBS uh, Evening News is at 6.30 tonight. Tune in to CBS 4 News and CBS4News.com at 5, 6, and 11 for all the day's important headlines. I'm Elliot Rodriguez.